Hi, this is Vicky and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to talk about a technical term, vertical load. Let us look at this question. A single axle trailer has an actual gross weight of 600 kilos. What is the minimum possible vertical load? It is 90 kilos, 24 kilos and 60 kilos. Before getting into the options, we have to understand two things from this question. What is a single axle trailer and what is a vertical load? A single axle trailer looks like this. It has only one set of wheels. And what is this vertical load? The term vertical load refers to the weight or the load of a caravan or a trailer's coupling head that is applied to the tow bar of the towing vehicle. This picture gives us a better understanding. We have a trailer's coupling head attached to the tow bar of the car. Now, what exactly is a vertical load? It is the force applied or the weight that acts on the towing device of the towing vehicle. Why is it important? The vertical load on the towing bar or the weight on the tow bar is very essential for the driving stability, especially in the case of trailers without sufficient axle spacing. What happens if we do not follow the appropriate weight for the trailer, say if the weight is too high? This could overload the rear tires of the towing vehicle and when this happens, your vehicle is difficult to control, difficult to maneuver and your vehicle is not responsive to braking. And what if the load is too low? The trailer may be prone to swaying from side to side and makes it very difficult to control. So it is very important to maintain the appropriate weight as per the manual. Now coming back to the question again, a single axle trailer has an actual gross weight of 600 kilograms. What is the minimum possible vertical load? Here the question is for the minimum possible load. Let us see what does the actual rule says. The minimum vertical load to be carried by the towing vehicle must not be less than 4% of the actual total weight of the trailer. However, it need not be more than 25 kilos. Try to understand the rule. It is 4% of the actual total gross weight or 25 kilos, whichever is lower. We get a better idea after this example. We take two scenarios. One with actual gross weight of 600 kilos as per the question and the second scenario with actual gross weight of 900 kilos. We calculate the minimum possible vertical load for both the cases. For 600 kilos, 4% 4 of 600 is 24. It is clearly less than 25. So the minimum possible vertical load is 24 kilos. We calculate the same for 900 kilos. 4% 4 of 900 is 36. It is more than 25. As per the rule, it has to be 4% 4 or 25 kilos whichever is lower. So the minimum possible vertical load for the single axle trailer with a weight of 900 kilos is 25 kilos. Now the answer for this question is 4% of 600 which is 24 kilos less than 25 kilos. So the second option is the correct answer. I wish now you have a better understanding about the vertical load and how to calculate the minimum possible load. As always, if you like my video and my content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and happy learning.